Um, so last week, um, Sandy facilitated. I'm like, I'm looking for her. And um, it was just profound. And there was two things that happened. One, when Phyllis was up here um, doing the example uh, for us and modeling that, I had this question go through my head. Um, God, are you in this? And I just always have a skeptic. I'm just always, I just always, and it's not, like it's just really wanting to make sure I'm in line with what God's doing. And so it was just like, God, are you in this? And you know, in that, I didn't get the answer. And so then I go into our group and I was gonna be the recipient, Sandy was gonna facilitate, and I was kind of in a stuck place, but open, whatever, you know. And so um, he took me to, to an image that had come up during her uh, sharing. It was in the woods where um, there was a tree that was super straight up, and then there was one right next that was bent down, and he was like, stand straight. Don't let the, se the season bend you. I'm in a really hard season. And um, stay straight, don't bend. And I was like, okay, so I'm back there. And then I had listened that morning to Jesse in the forgiveness video. I was doing my homework right before I came. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was listening to the forgiveness video, and so my image went right to that video, and I was just like, how is forgiveness connected to that? And then I was jumping all over, so Sandy had qu quite a challenging time. But then I went to an image of the cross, of Jesus on the cross. Because I, oh, I was like, how do you want me to forgive in this season? Um, you know, it's been layers and layers and layers of forgiveness, but I was like, I can't stand straight in this. I just, it's too much. You're asking too much of me. I feel like you're asking me to, you know, and this was all going on during the, during the time, and, and an image of Jesus on the cross came. And I was kind of not very happy about that, actually. I was like, oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was really actually a little, like, and so then I got in touch. Okay. So what, you're wanting me to die tomorrow? And so it was just like, okay, you know, let's go there. And, um, and uh, let me get here. So first irritated, oh, well, I'm not you. Um, like, you're asking me to do something that I just can't do. I'm not you. And so how can you ask me to do that? And um, then in that session, you know, I just sat with it and was silent, and I saw his face on the cross looking at me in this place of despair and like, how can you ask me to do this? How can you ask me to forgive and trust and do this? And his face was so full of tender compassion and empathy and almost like tears. He was just like right there with me and saying, I know, you know, and it was like, it broke me open and I just started weeping like, he was wanting to identify with me in that. Not, it was almost like he wanted to say, I'm with you in this. I, I, I get how painful that was. And, um, so it, and I was so stuck that for that just to open me up and just weep. And if we had had a full, like, you know, open time, I would have sat in that and just let it go. But, you know, I knew, okay, I got to wrap this up, Jesus. You know, like, <laughs> we have a time clock here. So I know we can, we'll revisit this again in a little bit, you know. But so I was, um, at that point, he brought me back I mean, to this, to the image of the tree straight. Uh, we kind of went back and forth because then I was this little girl, like on the at the foot of the cross, just curled up, you know, on my knees, just curled up, weeping. And he got down off the cross and came and knelt and held me in that place and more weeping. And it was just like this deep, deep um, identification with Jesus and him being right with me in it. And and validating how hard it was and how, yes, I'm asking you to do this and I'm not asking you to do it just flippantly, you know, like there is a cost and there's a pain and there's a, you know, but it was so vivid and tangible and real and I was just over overwhelmed. Um, and then he took me back to the tree and it was like he had filled me with strength in, you know, like in me, you don't have to bend. You can stand straight. So as you do this work with me, you are gonna be able to stand straight like that tree and not bend. And so it was twofold. It was a, a way for me to walk into this new layer of forgiveness and, and path of forgiveness that he's asking me to do. Not done, but to do. Um, and then also a, a confirmation and a validation that it was like this, yes, I'm in this. You know, like this Emmanuel prayer process because he just, clearly met me so profoundly and I was just like I needed that I needed that validation that mm -hmm. he's profoundly in this so that's right thank you thank you that's neat